Trading currencies is about identifying misalignments. You look at a current exchange rate, then take a position on it based on your analysis that it is likely to strengthen or weaken. On a day-to-day -day basis, this can be done by looking at charts and tracking relevant news. But currencies are driven over the longer horizon by deep forces of economics and finance. This is where DBS currency research comes in. We have developed a data-driven, rigorously tested model of currency valuation. Welcome to DBS Equilibrium Exchange Rate or DEER. The DEER model seeks to give insights on long-term exchange rates. These insights are based on three key concepts. Firstly, purchasing power parity or PPP. PPP is well accepted as a key driver of exchange rates. If the price of a good varies across geographies, it must be the case that over time those differentials will converge through adjustments of the exchange rate. Secondly, the balasar sanderson effect. It captures the stylized fact that countries with higher productivity tend to also have higher real exchange rates than expected under PPP alone. Thirdly, terms of trade. It is country's export price to import price ratio. Higher terms of trade bolsters a country's trade balance and income and tends to lead to currency appreciation. The DEAR model calibrates weights across all these three factors to derive a currency's fair value. Alright, let's say we observe a currency that is misaligned from the value predicted by our DEAR model. What does that mean? Their valuations are based on economic fundamentals. Zero weight is given to changes in market sentiment, risk events, or short-term market factors. Misalignments from our dear fair values will eventually narrow, but this process is more observable over the long term than the short term. We estimate that dear misalignments tend to narrow by half over a 3-4 to four year period. Currencies that are expensive compared to their dear fair value should underperform over time, and those currencies that are cheap relative to their dear fair value are expected to outperform. It is great to have a snapshot of how currencies compare with each other, but can we apply our dear valuation analysis to a single currency of interest? Of course. Let's focus on the Australian dollar's dear valuation time series, and here, we can gauge the extent of Aussie over and under valuation over time. With this dear valuation series, we observe that during the 2008 global financial crisis, the sharp tumble in Aussie led to significant undervaluation based on the deer. Using the deer as our guidepost, we could have gone long the Aussie and profit from the rebound. Similarly, the Aussie was overvalued in 2012 based on the deer and we could have gone short or avoided the Aussie. By going long some of the most undervalued currencies and short some of the most overvalued currencies every month, we have the basis of a systematic strategy to take advantage of the dear misalignments over time. Given the trade-off between risk and return, we find an optimal strategy with the best sharp ratio by running a large number of tests. This entails using data and econometrics to arrive at the optimal trade duration and number of currencies. Impressive! The back tests and simulations that have gone into crafting the optimal DEER strategy look exhaustive. Is the DEER strategy a good addition to an investor's portfolio? We found that returns from the DEER strategy has very small correlation to the S&P 500 index and they are almost uncorrelated with global fixed income indices. As such, the addition of the DEER strategy's FX returns could provide an important dimension to returns from a traditional equity and fixed income portfolio. By providing investors additional diversification benefits, they are rare in liquid asset markets. DEER strategy is data-driven, features best-in-class methodology, and is shown to be a productive addition to a standard portfolio. Here in DBS, we are proud to bring this product to you.